range of motion as your guide or the breadth? Do you want them to go far, but maybe they're in apical breadth, or would you rather they go less and stay in diaphragmatic breadth? That's a great question. Ideally, you want to take someone to the edge of their ability. Now, if they've got a full range of motion, but they haven't learned the breath all the way at that end range of motion, maybe cueing them to breathe in there or getting them to that end range and saying, okay, now breathe down into that lower abdomen again is what you want to do. If you can't get them to breathe into that lower abdomen from that end range, back them off enough out of it so that they can get back to it and then, again, push the envelope a little bit more.